What's going on guys, Bo here, welcome to the PK series from scratch. On screen now are the rules to the series and as always I hope you enjoy this episode. Upon the completion of goal number 2 and the previous completion of goal number 1, we are now working on goal number 3 which is to create a pack yak adventure. What's going on guys, Bo here, welcome to series 3 of my PK series from scratch, episode 1. And for all those who don't know, I am now going for the challenge of a pack yak adventure. Um, for those who don't know what a pack yak adventure is, pretty much what I do is I go into the wilderness with a pack yak, at Edgeville obviously, with Mila gear and pack yak is full of food, my inventory is full of food, and pretty much I fight till I die. Let's just leave it at that, so pretty much what, what this episode will be achieving is I need to earn myself some pack yaks, which I may already have, and I need to earn myself potions in the gear to be able to stay in the wilderness lo long, but of course this episode won't last that long if it all goes wrong, so the goal is I have to get at least 7 kills in the wilderness with my pack yak, so this may take a while to in properly but we'll see what actually happens so I'm start I'm not starting again but I have my from scratch tab and I'm gonna go a quick short bank video and as you can see these are all the subscribers who are actually watching that I'm actually live streaming this now 391 viewers blah blah I will be live streaming this series as well so here we go a guy's spamming my clan chat and no one seems to be able to kick him so I will kick him because I'm always good at this Oh, I don't care. Someone else can kick in. But, um, okay, I'm going to go into my... This is my... I'm going to keep this short, really. If I just go through it, I have 1.6 mil cash call that. And these are all the items that I actually have. Some of them... I did double-check this tab. Everything here is correct, as far as I am aware, except for eight of those bird's nests aren't. But this is all the stuff I have. And, of course, my PK tab, which is all this. So... So in the series, I'm going to quickly check what I've actually got. I believe I already have some pack yaks all ready for me, but I'm going to have to gear up, get everything ready, and start my series. So I'm sorry for the long introduction, but I hope you enjoyed this series. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to quickly do a farm run. I've not done one in a while, so if I get hold of all my farm run supplies, which are not that, it's the Camelot teleport, which is not that either. If I get the Camelot teleport and the Ectophiel, and I'm going to go do a farmer and get some more potions towards my, as you see, they're running a bit low, but I've got some to decant. I need to find the correct seeds, so I'm definitely going to do those rainars, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. So the herbs are obviously dead. Alright, what herb is this? Not been here for ages. B. Avent I don't need over. I don't need Aventos in the slightest. Come on. Toad flax, sweet. Okay, so I've got some, uh, I've got been donated 25 more thousand soul runes there, but got some irits, toad flaxes. Aventos and now to make some potions. Time to make lots of potions. Okay, so now I've made all my potions, I am going to be, of course, decanting them to see what potions I have left over for my series. So this won't take long, but I'll quickly do it. Okay, so they are the potions I have left over, which are more than enough for me to do a series. All I need is a fair amount of brews, a fair amount of pure sets, and some sharks, really. So now I need to get hold of a pack yak pouch. I believe I should already have some, though, but I'll double-check that now. Okay, so uh, I do only have uh, three pack yak pouches, but I'm going to be making myself some... I need the scrolls as well to bank items, of course, so I'm going to go quickly make myself five more, and then I will be making those into scrolls. So I'm down here, I've got my supplies left and I forgot my pouches, I am very smart. So I am back for round two with the pack yak making, so if I make myself five pack yaks and then I will be changing these into scrolls. So there we go, now I have my scrolls done so I need to search what else I really need, but I believe I can actually just go straight back to PK and grill. Okay, so for the, for the uh, pack yak adventure, I think I'm going to use a dragon mace, but I'm also going to use a I'm not going to buy a dragon be a battle axe yet. I think I'm going to have a chance that people have suggested that I wanted to, like, you know, kill the Chaos Elemental to try and earn myself a dragon 2 under. So I'm going to have a few tries at that. I've got a fair few sharks. I'm probably going to use a couple of events to try and earn a dragon 2H off the Chaos Elemental. So hopefully I won't die doing that. But if I don't get one, I'm going to use a dragon battle axe to try and KO people there. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm out of games that exist, so I need to make myself... I need to get myself some more sapphires, so back to my amazing gem stand. Third sapphire! Rapid logout. Gem number four. 
And final sapphires, so if those want to come up me, there we go. Five sapphires, so now I'm going to go and quickly make myself five more games necklaces. Okay, so I am making myself the sapphire necklaces. That one still has the charge, but now that I've made those quickly, I'm going to go and go back to uh, here, quickly enchant them, and I should be sorted with that. Okay, so while I was uh, quickly banking, I still have that scro clue scroll that I earned in series 2, so this episode will be pretty short, so I would like to um, extend it in any ways possible. So I'm going to extend it, I'm going to complete the clue scroll this episode, so I'll obviously keep it short, but I do need to earn everything from scratch, so that may take me a while, but I'm going to work on that now. Okay, so I'm at my first clue scroll location, I'm wearing my badass tribal mask, and I think it's somewhere around here. There we go, so... There's a step one done, and right, okay, before I do this, I need to go and get myself the sextant, the watch, and the other thing, which I think is a chart or a map or something, so uh, I'll sort that out now. Okay, so I've uh, got my chart, and I'm about to get my sextant from here, so if I could sort of zoom right, I'm going to add these both to my tool belt. Uh, apparently I can't add that to my, oh, I have to look through it, of course, then, never mind. And I need to go to the clock tower now for the final piece, which is just up here. Okay, so I've got my watch, add that to the tool belt, now I just need to go and find the coordinates of my clue, but luckily uh, I use a swift kit, so we just pull up the coordinate locator. Yes, I might as well share this with the video, but that is the location I will be going to, so I have to get all the way there. However, I think there is actually now a spell, Trollhian Teleport, so I think, oh, the farming patch. Well, uh, I'll actually get me close anyway and save me some time, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually did think, as soon as I said that, that... I had to go to the Livid Farm, but it doesn't matter because I can just use Spellbook Swap to get there even quicker, because my brain is amazing. Right, let's quickly go around here. I need uh, two Fire Runes and some Law Runes, and there isn't any. I've got all these Blood Runes. Trollium Teleport! Welcome to Boaty vs. Bosses, Episode 6 Trillion, me versus a Saradoming Wizard. So I'm trying my best not to get poisoned by it by keeping Protect from Melee on, I don't mind taking it. And I still get poisoned because life hates me, but that's the second clue of, well, the second step of the clue done, so for all those who don't know, there is my anti-poison because I'm a beast. I'll be taking those blood runes as well, and my next clue is... <gasps> Give me that clue! Oh, brilliant, I'll do that one in a minute. And just because life seems to like me today, um, there's my second coordinate location, so that should take me a minute to get to, so that's pretty great. Okay, so next, um, sorry I'm in boss, and I've muted my mic, but I've put it back on, and I'm hitting absolutely nothing because the game is racist to me, so I'm already poisoned, I might as well just uh, use that and hope to hell it can't KO me with melee. I think it would be better if I did actually protect from melee, so... Uh, we go, we're going to the death here, I don't mind if I die, actually I kind of do mind, but I refuse to eat, I refuse to eat, I want to take it out without eating because I'm a beast. Yeah, that's good, that so quickly cure the poison, more blood runes, sweet, and next chest is, the savior ties at the peak of his possession, I actually can't remember, I've not done a close scroll in like years. Okay, so unfortunately... A puzzle box for me to do. If this is one I already know, I can probably do it. What the hell is that? I ain't done that before. Right, this is going to take me a while, guys, so give me a moment. Okay, so that didn't even take me that long, but I should have timed myself to find out how long it actually did take me, but I think that's right. Yep, thank you very much. And next clue scroll is easy. Okay, uh, thanks to my clan chat. They have um, confided, I'm using that word again, in uh, telling me that a Ring of Wealth will help me get a good item. So, of course, I did PK a Ring of Wealth off that guy in Series 2, so... Yeah, let's see if it does get me a better reward, so I'll wear it now just in case. Yeah. Okay, so is this the final reward? Boom! Not bad, not bad, that's not a bad reward, it's probably one of the best clues goals I'd get in my life, even though it's probably worth about 100k now, but uh, I guess that made the episode slightly more exciting. To those who really do not care about, really, me doing clue scrolls, and I've probably just skipped to the end, then, yeah, but I thought that would uh, change the episode around a bit, so I hope you enjoyed that clue scroll, and yeah, Rune Chim Legs! 
Okay, so I've decided that I want to make this episode much better. So I'm going to get my fire cape back. Now, this involves me... Uh, luckily, I do have some Grimoire Spikes from when I got my first extreme. So I'm going to go back and get some more Dwarf Weeds at the Chaos Druids down here. I got uh, a fair amount of them, and that was uh, great. There's also a Raynar and Haralander spawn in here, which is awesome to get. So i doing that. I may need to go back to Barrows for some Bolt Racks, so I'll double-check that. Got one Dwarf Weed. Yay! Okay, so I've got my last dwarf weed there. It took a while, and I've got like the the whole cavalry behind me. So if I make that, I have the three potions now to get my fire cape, and now I need to go and get the wines of Zamorak. Do the nerve wracking room with my entire like French chap following me. So I'm running through the wilderness. Karasi, you can't attack me. No one can attack me. I'm safe. <clears throat> there'll be there'll be a whole team here. Don't worry. There'll be like every single 60, 40 in the game just there, sat there like waiting. Okay, so I've got my wines, my French chat attempted their best to try and get, not let me get them by looting them themselves. And notice how no one's going for it. That's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Suckers! Yes, okay, so I've got my extreme range potion, so now I'm going to go double check my cape gear, really, and see if I can just go and get myself a fire cape straight away. Okay, so um, I've only got 616 bolt racks, but uh, to be safe... I'm just going to do the cape now. I believe I have enough. I'm going to be taking the dragon skin in there as well to melee the first waves. I'm also going to take in some black knives that I have earned from the... What's the name of it? The... Warriors Guild, sorry. And um, I'll be using those just in case, really. Actually, I'm probably not going to take those, but I'm going to buy 100 bolt racks off this guy. Now, everyone said you can buy bolt racks here, and here's why I'm going to show you why I didn't. There's only 100, and they cost a bomb. But the reason I'm buying them is because I need them. As you can see, 48k it cost me for 100 bolt racks, so that is why I didn't buy them there. So, time for me to do a fire cape. Okay, so it's time for me to uh, do the fire cape, so I'm going to quickly use my uh, second last dose of extreme potions to start off, and I'm going to quickly grab the prayer potions and I'm going to start so I have six seven hundred sixteen bolt racks and I'll be using a dragon skimmer at the start so if I'm very fast I can actually grab another prayer potion so um let's let's go let's turn that on as well I accidentally just noticed uh, I think it happened last time but the stats from when I oh god 77 mage when I did the when taking the Zami wines it lowers my stats down and I did just extreme pop back up but as you can see it's done me practically nothing so Unfortunately, that didn't work. At least my range is 99 out of 99, so I don't need to restart. So when I do get to wave 31, I can blitz through with the extreme range parts. Okay, so we're now on uh, wave 31, so it's time to start the speed run of the caves, really. So let's just sit back and watch the hits come in. Okay, so um, I've uh, got really here 185 bolt racks to keep. I have just turned Zombie Nation on to my 695 viewer live stream which is insane so the clam chat is going to have a ton of spam while i kill mr jad so um second fire cape in from scratch um not really hard that to get i've got uh, plenty of well not really plenty of supplies left but enough supplies really to get them i mean i'm not really interested in going back to barrows it does take a uh, quite a long time to get them there so i'm just going to quickly kill it so to spice it up a bit, I'm going to prayer toggle it, because uh, of all the jabs that I did over the uh, last few days, prayer toggling, I had so much practice that it's actually, it's just second nature to me now. The majority of fire kips I do now, I just prayer toggle them, because it's really good practice for me. Like, I'll probably get hit, now that I've said that, but if I do get hit, no problems, because I can tank it, I have the high enough HP, but if I don't get hit, then uh, fair play, I've done it perfectly, which is uh, great, but i um, going to kill this healer, of course, but yeah, um, I've kind of got used to this, so this just spices the episode up a bit more, but I don't know what else I'll be needing after uh, this fire cape, so let's get the final healer in place. I think I missed that prayer then, but I just uh, realised it just wasn't there, but there we go guys, uh, with 99 range and extreme parts, it really does not take long to kill Jad, so it doesn't really matter that I'm prayer toggling, because I only have to press which like three times or so really, that's it, so... Yeah, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I've not even done the chat yet. I think I missed that one. No, I didn't. But um, I've not done it yet. I mean, for all we know, I could die now. And if I die, I'm screwed. I missed that one on purpose because I'm an idiot. And I still took zero damage because I'm very lucky. So, I mean, I didn't miss it. <coughs> and uh, I didn't miss it on purpose, by the way, either. So, don't worry about that. But there we go, guys. Um, well, no, still not done. Still not done. So, hurry up and die, Mr. Jad. I'm going to kick him because he's just spamming purposely. So, um. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm practically done, but there we go, I've got a fire kit now, so I'll be using that in the uh, pack kick adventure for a slight extra strength bonus, because it is great, but, um, yeah, I can actually finally say it. There we go, guys, so, probably going to be a huge crowd, not really a huge crowd, but a fair amount of people out here 
who are late because the live stream has delays, but there we go. Uh, I've got my second fire cape, I have 132 racks left and tons of supplies, so um, there we go. Okay, so uh, next thing that I'm going to do now that I've earned my fire cape is uh, completely irrelevant to having a fire cape, but I'm going to go in here, uh, as I said, kill the Chaos Elemental for hopefully a Dragon Two-Handed Sword now. Uh, personally, I don't expect to get one, but I would like to try anyway, because if I get one, it would just be really great to see on the ground, really, and it'd be an awesome achievement, but of course, it may be difficult for me, so I'm taking some rune arrows. I don't have many, but I'm probably not going to use them much in the series, so I might as well use them when I need them. I don't really have many ranged potions, but uh, I can make myself a couple more. Then, of course, extreme ranges don't work in the wilderness, and I will be going to the wilderness to do this, so that might be a, a bit painful, but uh, I'm going to be using rune arrows. Nothing amazing, and hopefully I'll be able to kill a couple, if not one, but before I do them, I will need to get my hold of some shoes, because, as you know, the Chaos Animal Elemental takes your armor off. So, um, pretty much, it's, like, difficult to kill it with sharks because it keeps constantly taking my armor off. With shoes, the balls will go back into my inventory, really. So, I will, of course, be able to kill it more efficiently. So, I'm going to go make myself some stews now. Okay, so I've got myself uh, some stews. Uh, they don't take long to buy from the, uh, if anyone wants to know, the Camelots. I don't know if it's like the Freaky Forester, I think it's called. And if that's actually right, that's pretty insane for my memory, but... Um, yeah, you buy stews there, they cost 20 GP each, but they're dead quick. If you just hold space down and click the appropriate numbers, you'll be able to buy about 22 in 3 minutes or so. But now I need to go rob myself some spices, or buy them. Alright, so the guy sells uh, 10 spice, so obviously it saves a lot of time if I just buy the spice from him. So I'm in a hot world, get myself a fair few spices, but they are very easy to get hold of. So I may do a couple of trips at the Chaos Elemental, depending how effective range is against it. Now I know I did it in the Booted vs. Bosses with the... Uh, what's the name of it? The Cow's Crossbow, and I did do it in one defense gear, so if I do use the correct prayers, I may take very little damage, and with a rune, cross, rune bow, I may not hit as high, but we'll see what happens, really. Oh, what? Are you serious? Oh, brilliant, a bank penny. So I can only buy 10 per world. That kind of sucks, so... I, mean, I bought this 10 now, but that means I have to thieve them, but they're about as fast as sapphires, so... I'll think myself the first inventory, I'll test how effective range is. If it's not that effective, then I'll just, like, not bother. I guess uh, RuneScape has once again been updated, but uh, I, I remember sh uh, sp curries being made by using a spice on a stew, but it hasn't worked, so I have to quickly go research how to do it. Wow, I just actually found out what I have to do. I have to manually make the stews. I need to go get meat, and I need to go and get potato and all that. Oh, it's going to take me a while, so give me a moment. At least I found out I can actually buy 10 more spice from here, but I can only get... 10 balls as well, so I'm gonna have to go and get hold of some balls. And really, I'm not interested in getting clay and firing them and all that, so um, I'll find another method. Now I need to kill a fair few of my chickens, and uh, I don't know which one to go to really. I'll just go to this one. I need to kill uh, 20, 34 chickens, even hopefully, chickens will be accepted to the stews. But uh, I need to get 20, 34 chickens, I need to cook those, but I don't think I'll burn any when I'm cooking, so that should be fine. So this uh, will take me about 15 minutes to do, then what do I need to do? Then I need to get hold of some potatoes, uh, that won't take me long at all, so this won't really take that long. Okay, so I've got my uh, chickens, uh, 29 more in the bank, obviously, and uh, for those who are wondering why the hell I've got 29 when I have 28 inventory spots, I already had two in the bank, so and I had the feathers from the last trip as well, and 27 others, so I'm going to collect myself some potatoes now. Potatoes! So many potatoes, they shouldn't, uh, shouldn't really take me long. They're onions! Let's uh, never speak of this again. This didn't actually happen. I have hit the absolute jackpot of potatoes. I feel like, oh, I could make millions just staying here and picking potatoes, but I feel like a peasant like him and that guy. Being legit now, I wonder when is the last time anybody really picked a potato from there? Like, seriously, this is stuff in RuneScape that, like, Nobody does, and really, it's just great to be back in these situations. Is that a crow? Oh my god, crow 1009 in the area. Going back to these uh, old school uh, memories, really. When was the last time anybody really made curries in the game? When was the last time anyone soloed the Chaos Elemental purposely to get a dragon to it? Seriously, doing this series is so fun. Time to cook some chickens. Like a boss. 
Okay, so cooked my meat, and I have no idea where the chicken, there they are, so if I quickly throw these in here, and I'll do this in parts, I need 14 of those, 14 of those, and I should be able to use this on that, yes, so uh, I should be able to work on it now. Okay, so I've got the uncomplete stew, so it's time to add the meat. Can I, yep, should just be that, yes, yeah, sweet. I'm telling you now, I better get a dragon to hander for going through all this effort. Time to add the spices, and believe it or not, this was probably my money-making method maybe six or seven years ago. Okay, so I've got myself 34 uncooked stewies. Uncut, what the hell is an uncooked stewie, Adam? Sort your life out. But, um, uncut, uncut, what am I, uncooked curries. I need to go down to the Varrock thingamajibby, no, the Lumbridge, what's the word, range to, um, Cook them quickly and then uh, I'm going to go to the Chaos Elemental. I think I'm going to take half and half. Um, I'll take about 17 with some sharks. Test range, then test a bit of melee. Find out which is better and use that. But uh, I think range, may I may take less damage because I won't be in melee range. But I'll find out. Cooking curries like a boss. Ah, oh, scary. Okay, so um, I'm taking... Uh, DDS with me with some supers of course here. I'm going to test the DDS power. I don't think it will hit that well, but I've also got the ranging potion, so rune arrows probably won't hit that well, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm this first trip is really an experiment. I'm going to eat the sharks last, of course, so that my inventory obviously doesn't get messed up. Uh, if I die, I will be depressed. I've also got a ring of wealth, and if I die, I lose that, which would suck. I forgot prayer pots because I'm a, a dancing drone, but it doesn't really matter. I've took the snakeskin boots off to have a slightly higher bonus on the uh, spec, but I'm not sure what to actually pray here. So far the DDS sucks and the melee range owns, so yeah, this uh, really isn't going to work. I believe I should stick to- never mind, it's pretty beast. Wow! It's melee range is beast, so if I go back to that, that was the wrong way to switch, but uh, yeah, I should- if I leech- I'm going to want to kill one, I think. Stop running everywhere! I can't even click the thing, but I'll kill one and I need to run back for some prayer potions, but this ain't going well. Maybe I should pray range. I don't know how to kill this thing, but um, I'm just going to chill it for a bit. Stop teleporting me! Oh, I'm getting ripped by this thing! Okay, it's almost dead, but I'm out of prayer now, so I don't want to waste my curries if I can help it. Please just die quickly. I don't want to waste that many. If I die now, no problems. I'll run back for my stuff. Do you want to stop teleporting me when you're so close to dying? Because I want to just quickly kill you and... Hopefully get a dragon- if I get a dragon two-handed now, I think I will cry. Ah! Okay, I'm eating two. I'm eating five if I have to, I don't care this time. Uh, note to self, I think I'm gonna bring melee for the next trip. I think I'll, uh, hit better. And my mouse, of course, decides to lag at the worst possible- <gasps> No! Oh, I would've died as well. Okay, you can stop hitting now so I can actually kill you and save myself another load of curries. They took me about an hour to make, and you're sat there on one HP. Oh, there we go, it's dead. Give me a D2H, give me a D2H. Please, 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 it'd be so nice to see on the floor. <gasps> Yeah! Okay, so I'm going to test melee this time. As uh, the um, Chaos Elemental has multiple attack styles like the Calphite Queen, the Calphite Queen is powerful. To be fair, so is the Chaos Elemental. So I'm going to be taking defensive gear, I'll protect from magic, and I will soul split toggle hopefully. I'm not sure how 60 attack will hit, and I'm uh, being uh, stingy of course by praying, but if 60 attack uh, seems to hit fairly, every time I do actually hit something, it may be higher than a magic short bow, which means I may kill it faster, and obviously in the higher defense, I should be able to tank a bit better, so uh, let's see how this goes for me. Charging my run energy here like a badass, because I am going all out, let's go care sentimental, might want to start fighting up right now. Don't think it's uh, spawned yet, so it spawns about there or something, so I'm going to hide behind these spiky things which you can't examine. And wait patiently for my prey to appear. Never mind, it had uh, spawned a long time ago and it decided to hide from me, so where are you, you silly... Okay, let's not go on a marathon or something. I do have to catch you, you know, alright? Good luck to you, Mr. Chaos Elemental. Hopefully it won't hit high. Okay, it hits pretty well, I'm scared. Right, okay, and my uh, gear kind of sucks, so if we get the timing correctly so I can toggle correctly. There we go, and I can't even... I can't click this thing. It's, there we go, right, okay, so... It seems to be weak to stab, actually, so if I turn it on now, yeah, oh, beautiful XP drop, right, okay, here we go, so, I'll just be doing this for a while now before it dies. And, owned, please, seriously, I, I would be so happy if I saw a Dragon 2 under on the sword, it would actually be such a good sight, but, um, I, holy hell, what the hell? 1,600 Chaos Runes? Okay, I know it's not worth that much, but wow, that's a lot of runes, right? Okay, so, because I'm, uh, of course, a bit of a P... Ah, uh, you know what, I'm just going to heal off the, um, 
the curries. Actually, I won't heal at all. I'll just wait patiently for it to spawn again while saving my stats. Hello there, Chaos Elemental. Round 15 bit. My stats still drop. That kind of sucks, but, um, should I repot? I guess my supplies are worth more than these potions, so yes, I will repot. I can't click this thing. It's really hard, but, uh, I've got good timing here, so I should be able to toggle correctly, which is good. That was the wrong toggles, but it doesn't really matter, because 204. Beautiful! But yeah, I'll be back in a moment. What the hell? Since we could hit teleport. But yeah, I'll be back in a moment when it's uh, almost dead, or if I die. Hopefully I won't die. It is so annoying when it teleports me. Okay, one more chaos elemental down, and I'm um, down a fair few amount of curries, but uh, I'm going to bank now, of course, to get more, and that is a... Wow, strange fruits. I actually have no idea when the last time I actually had one of these was. Awesome, I know you get them from uh, the... I know there used to be a random event, obviously, but... Fair enough, I'll be taking those. That should be some good energy pots for now, but I'm gonna go oh, I'll use these pizzas actually to reheal. Um I'm gonna re-bank now for some potions and uh, use the final ones of my shoes, hopefully get myself a good drop. Okay, so round like uh I think it's round I really actually don't know what round I'm on anymore. I think it's round three? No, four. Definitely four. Uh or five. I don't know, it doesn't matter, but anyways, um these are my last uh, curries now, so this will probably be my last trip, depending on if I come back with sharks, which I highly doubt, so it's all down to chance now, guys. If I get a D2H, I get one. If I don't, I don't. No! No! Oh my god, I'm going on an absolute marathon now. I don't even know how I died. It, like, I ran away because I dropped a stew by mistake, and it hit really high on me. It hit like, um... I don't know, but oh, I hope my defender doesn't turn to coins because I'm in the wilderness. That'll really annoy me, but uh, hopefully I should be able to get back plenty of time left unless it keeps continuously teleporting me away from my loot, but um, please, for the love of God, defender, do RD cloak. Damn it! Right, I'm back, so I need to tank this thing while looting everything, really, so I'm about to take most likely a hell of a lot of damage. Do you have to be in melee? No, you are not doing that to me, sir. Give me my loot back. If I die again now, I will cry, but, um... Oh, Rune Defender's there. Okay, I'm in a good mood, except I have lost my life, unless I can tank that quickly. Can you please stop hitting me? This, these hits are kind of unfair. Right, okay, let's just save some time and attack it, really. Uh, I'll do it without the Ardy Cloak, but let's repot. I'm gonna... Ah, damn it, that's gonna suck. Right, um... I keep looting stuff. Do you want to stop knocking my stuff off, you? So, oh, this is so cheap! I'm trying to loot items and you have to knock my stuff off because you're a noob. But, uh, yeah, that kind of uh, sucks. <clears throat> okay, so luckily I have got a full inventory again, which is uh, great. So, time to get my revenge on this silly overpowered thing of unequipping my items about a hundred times while I'm just trying to loot my items back. I have to, at least I got the bones. Alright, another one dead, so please, a Dragon 2 Hander, beautiful sword. What? I don't need the strange fruits anymore. I guess I might as well take them anyway, but, um, could probably kill about two more, so wish me luck, guys. Okay, so supplies are pretty low. Hopefully I can get uh, two more in, but uh, it will require quite a bit of luck on uh, my hits, so good luck to me. Right, as I say that, as I'm probably, you all just saw a slight clip of a 377 DDSXP drop, that's beautiful. I can't do that in the wilderness, don't die, don't click! Okay, so uh, another one dead and it drops me more strange fruits. I guess this is uh, the best method to get strange fruits, and I don't really need the defense potion, I'll leave that. But, um, supplies, one left, so it's like a one in a billion chance that I'm going to get a D2H on this one, so... Oh, this, if I get one now, I'll be so happy, but I'm not expecting it, so please don't expect one, because I don't really want to let everyone down that I am going to be leaving after this. Okay, so uh, it's just spawned. This is the final battle, and uh, I'm probably going to go to the death, really, so I only have five stews, you can see, so it's really going to be hard for me to take this one out, but if I am lucky, which so far I'm not, because I really can't click the thing, it's got a really annoying shape, but, ah, wow, what... Uh, what did I drop? I don't know what I, I've dropped my balls, haven't I? Right, this uh, is probably not going to happen anymore now that I've dropped everything in my... Oh, items are going to be constantly pulled off. I get it into one certain area that might help quite a bit. There we go. If I put it in like a... Yeah, I can switch from there pretty quickly. So, uh, this is going to be close. Oh, you have got to be joking. 
That was unfair. I'm taking on Bear now. It comboed me about 400 HP, so if I grab myself 10 sharks and a uh, quick super potion. Uh, forget the super potion, actually. I'm going to go quickly finish it off. Oh, there it is. Please, hopefully it won't be able to attack me from up there and I can get all my stuff back in. But damn it! Spoke too soon, so spamming, spamming, couriers, give me everything as fast as you can so I can quickly fill my inventory up with strange fruit. Rune Defender, strange fruits. I'm dead again if I die again. Oh, don't tell me, put me away, you peasant. Come on, let me on it. Stop hitting then! What? I'm not food by the time I even get close to it. Come on, give me these strange fruits. I want them before it takes all my armor off again. Wow, it's like a 200 every time on me. We've got a few more to go. Come on, give me the vial. Sorted. Right, let's go quickly finish this one off. Getting absolutely smacked by this one. It's not even deciding to hit below 200s whenever it doesn't want to. This is going to be so close. I'm going till the death. I don't even care anymore. You. No, stop taking my items off. It's so annoying. Come on, raff it. No, don't raff it. No, protect from mage. Run away. Raff, kill it. Come on. Stop pulling my items off. You no. Running back, running back. Being a cheapskate, not taking sharks. Don't want to kill it until I get my ring of wealth. Where is it? I don't care about everything else. I just want my ring of wealth, the dragon dagger. And if I go and quickly take it out, then... Hopefully it will die. One minute. Oh, what? No, I didn't have the wealth. That better count as the wealth being on. Come on. Final drop, please. Aww. Oh my god. Okay, so I didn't get myself any Dragon 2 Andes. Um, being honest, I did not expect to get one, but it would definitely have been really nice to see, and I'm sure all of you are probably watching that scream, screen, sorry, once the Chaos Element was dying, hoping just to see a Dragon 2 Ander on the floor. It would be amazing now. Some people are probably going to say that too, I should go kill the Calphite Queen to get one. The Calphite Queen is extremely powerful. I'll be using 30, 40 sharks per kill, and still the drop rate of a D2H is about 1 in 100, with the Dragon Chain being about 1 in 50, so I'm not going to do that because it would just be... Too much of a waste, but I got about 5,000 Chaos Runes off that uh, Chaos Element, to, uh, to be honest, but um, nothing else I can really do, but I'll have a gander at what other things I may be able to do, but I'm going to go buy myself a Dragon Battle Axe now, if I do have to, yep, I have all the new game sexes, so I'm going to buy a Dragon Battle Axe, I'm going to use that as my KO weapon, and I know some people are probably, the hell? What? Fair enough, but um, some people are probably saying, buy a Barrel Chest Anchor, it's better, um, I could make a um, guide on why a barrel chest anchor is not good, but I'll quickly summarise it. Well, not really a guide, but um, I'll quickly give you a summary. Uh, the Dragon Battle Axe, once, from the moment you click an item and click on a person, it takes one tick for the damage to appear. A barrel chest anchor, it takes three ticks for it to appear, which means they have plenty of time to reheal. And I'm going to use the Dragon Battle Axe because the Fire Kick gives a slight bit of crush attack, and the, the other thing, the um, Rune Defender, will also stack. Oh, I've accidentally banked pouch. Brilliant. So uh, I'm back now and uh, give me that dragon battle action noob. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much everything. I'm going to double check gearing up now, but let's just find out what I've got. Okay, so I've got um, everything I really need to go PKing. I'll throw some recoil rings in there in a moment, but I'm also going to be using my hopefully lucky room plate legs train and see what they do. Fire Cape, of course, which I'll be protecting. I have my pack yaks, my scrolls, pretty much all the potions I need, so I know you all enjoyed this on Series 1, but um, I hope you enjoyed the Series 3 version.